So, happy Brazilian Independence Day to those who are Brazilian and who are celebrating in this video. That's why I've bought this Brazilian kit. I'm going to a Brazilian Independence Day party. So I thought, you know, why not? Just give what it needs to give. My friends are on the way. But let's get into this, guys, because a royal scandal is quietly emerging. And use the word quietly in a heavy connotation. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are ordering well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, please do click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Let's get to 340,000 subscribers, guys. Let's get to 340,000 subscribers. We are so close. Just click that button and let's get into this. Send a super thanks if you guys wish to. There's a dollar sign there. Now, a royal cash for scandal is emerging where a regulator bans trustees and recovers funds at two charities after a cash for honours claims that is of course linked to King Charles. The Charity Commission has disqualified trustees and recovered thousands of pounds from two foundations it has now investigated after allegations arose and several allegations arose around donations intended for charities that are directly linked to King Charles. Basically the money that was meant to go to charities in relation to King Charles was not going that way. It was being misappropriated. Where were those funds going? We would like to know. But this is not King Charles's first rodeo when it comes to cash for honours and money being spent and, you know, in the wrong places. The commission banned a trustee of the Mahfouz Foundation and two trustees of the Berkey's Peerage Foundation for 12 years from holding senior positions in the sectors after finding misconduct and mismanagement at both charities. The regulator recovered £113,000 of misapplied charitable funds from the Berkey's Peerage Foundation and 50000 nearly from the Mahfouz Foundation. Meanwhile, a separate investigation into the King's Foundation by Scottish charity regulator OSCR is currently ongoing. It is examined that this particular charity in the Middle East that is directly related had used its donations to advance its charitable purposes. The regulator concluded that the charity's trustees used its bank account as a conduct to transfer funds on behalf of third parties and the funds did not further its charitable purposes as they claimed. Funds included deposits into the charity bank's account that donors believed were being made directly to the King's Foundation, a charity registered in Scotland. Wow. The inquiry also found that 200,000 of the donations intended for the King's Foundation was instead transferred from the charity bank account to a trustee of a private company bank account. Money being misappropriated left, right and centre. The inquiry also required the repayment of 50000 by the trustees as well. As previously reported, the Mahfouz Foundation was removed and Angela Ascroft, critical case lead of the commission said the trustees actions in this case demonstrated scant regard for the charity's purposes instead allowing the charity to be a center a, a hub to be misused as a conduct for funds that were misapplied and placed elsewhere okay so two foundations to be exact previously the Sunday times published allegations that these donations these foundations sorry um, in the name of Prince's Donations, a charity set up by King Charles in 1986 was part of an effort to try and gain British citizenship as an honour. The investigation further alleged that Michael Fawcett, then Chief Executive of Prince's Foundation, coordinated an honour exchange for donations. Fawcett temporarily stepped down as its Chief Executive. We all know about that cash for honour scandal that took place, guys, um, as to what Charles was doing in direct relation to him and, you know, people buying citizenship in that kind of way. And of course, you know, it led to allegations and the investigation was eventually closed. And they concluded that there was no wrongdoing by Mahfouz or the King. Interesting. So this article, I guess, wanted to throw that in there. I'm also going to link this article down below uh, so that you guys can really read this word for word verbatim just in case you aren't getting it from what I'm saying. But basically, in the long run, funds were being misappropriated and they were directly linked and goes under King Charles's name. Now, I'm not saying that he's directly doing it himself. Of course not. But perhaps he oversees things. Perhaps he's aware of things. Perhaps he's understanding of, you know, Can you just hear that sound? It's so nice to hear birds. And there was something that I read recently that was so haunting and scary, guys, that there was a sound that people recorded of what they heard outside. And in 2002, it was bustling with so much nature and birds and, you know, so many animals and whatever they may be. But in Recently, in 2024, when that took place, it was silence. 
where are all our birds going? Where are all our creatures going? Where are all our wildlife going? For the sound to be completely gone. That in itself to me is more important than this video. But still, I'm just, it was nice to hear that. But um, anyways, um, I don't even know where I was going with this. I've lost my train of thought. Something about Charles and funds. And I do think that perhaps why there, that could also be another reason for let's throw this Harry story out there. Let's cause distractions. Let's call, let's even use Kate Middleton. Let's just cause a distraction left, right, and center. When yet again, Charles is being directly related to misusing of funds or, you know, perhaps he wasn't directly doing it himself, as I was saying, sorry, but I think that he oversaw it or let alone at the very least was aware of what was going on. Am I surprised? No, I'm not. But, you know, again, why are they so desperate to miss Mr. Property? I don't understand. They have so much money. The man is getting a 45 million pay rise. Why are you now so desperately trying to make money? Like, I don't get it. Where is this coming from? Why is there such a desperate need for money? You've got so much money, bro. I don't get it. It's not even just that. Remember the billionaire in Australia who said something? Remember Prince Andrew and the, and the Turkish people as well? And people, there was misappropriating funds. Like, why are you guys all doing this? You guys are royal members. You have significant large amount of money. Not one bill in this life will ever stress you. So why are you so desperately trying to get more? And it's not even large amounts. It's 100K there, 100K there, which of course is large. But in the grand scheme of things, in regards to what they earn annually, it's nothing. So I don't understand why this keeps going on. I don't understand. Anyways, well done to the Times for putting this out there and tracking this down. But of course, it's going to be Harry used as a excuse, no doubt, once again. Subscribe, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Do let me know your thoughts are. Please do subscribe. It's just one click. I would really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video. Happy Independence Day to those in Brazil. Sorry, I just love Brazil. Beautiful country, beautiful people. And hopefully you guys like this on me because I feel like it suits me. Hopefully the color looks nice. Let's just go a little bit back. I don't know, but hopefully you guys like this. But anyways, subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon.